Hello again, it's Living the Good Life, and this is number two on my videos for Friday, June 15th, uh, and this is one garage sale. So I got there about a little after 8 o'clock, it's probably about 8.15, but I don't think anybody had been there yet, so there weren't that many garage sales in my town that somebody who wouldn't have already been there at 8 o'clock when they supposedly opened, but I sure was happy. Let me go ahead and show you what I found. Um, there was a box of linens, and I found these. There was a big sign on it, 25 cents a piece. So that was definitely within my price range. I got this pretty little towel with the embroidery of this basket of flowers. Um, I can't remember what this is called. Um, not Petty Point, is it? It looks kind of like, I don't know, cross stitch, Petty Point, whatever it is. Uh, but it was too pretty for 25 cents. I may need it for a pillow or something. And then I got these days of the week. For some reason, there's no Sunday. But on Monday, she's doing her wash. Tuesday, she's doing the ironing. Wednesday, let's see. What's she doing Wednesday? Wednesday is... I think she's sewing. What's she doing? Let's look real quick. So, Thursday, visit. Oh, so after three days of work, you finally get to visit somebody. Okay, and then Friday, you get to clean the house. And Saturday, you get to bake. I'm thinking, yes, you're baking your bread. And you know, my mom still follows this. She, she is from this generation, and she still cannot get away from doing her laundry on Mondays, irregardless. She <laughs> feels lost if she's not doing the laundry, and she is very thankful that she no longer has to draw water from a well and heat it up in a cauldron in the front yard to do her laundry on a, on a rub board. So, <laughs> don't we have it so much better these days? Um, also, there was a cardboard box under a table, and I found the following things in it. There was this Edgeworth Extra High Grade Plug Slice Tobacco Tin. It was 25 cents. I have looked it up, and you'd be lucky to get a couple of dollars on, on this on eBay. There's also this knife, Camp King, with a K. And um, I this is going for about 5 to $8. I'm going to give it to my dad and see if he wants it. Um, I also found some sterling things in there and I was just so excited this I cannot find a mark anywhere But it's got it just looks completely like sterling. It is a dollar So that was happy times and I saw these and I snatched these up. These are that Duquesne D-U-C-H-I-N Sterling weighted and they were a dollar when I take this lid off and weigh it it weighs like close to three grams. Um, that gets me my money back on the dollar that I spent just on the lid because the rest of it's weighted and hard to, to weigh actually to see what it is. So there's two of those. So those are a dollar a piece. Uh, and then I saw this, which this really made my day. Uh, this is a baby a cup for Gregory. Isn't that sweet? 25 cents. And it says sterling, let me point it out to you where, right here. I think you can see the word sterling, right there. That weighs 60, over 60 grams, 60.1 grams. So for 25 cents, I got two ounces of sterling. This was in with some cutlery. And after I started finding all this sterling, I definitely looked and all the cutlery, but this was the only um, sterling spoon that there was, and I am forgetting how much this weighs, so we're going to weigh it real quick right now. Oh, let's see. 11.42 grams, and that was 25 cents as well. Uh, and then I found a little bit of jewelry. I asked, and they brought the, the uh, tub over to me, and I'm like kneeling on the garage floor, and I'm said I'm, I was laughing because I didn't know where to turn my attention because I was finding too many good things everywhere. So I got this, and I haven't been able to figure out if this is sterling yet or not, but it is on a sterling chain. 
Um, and this is a filigree sterling. And I don't think it says it very well, but it's right here, 925. The earrings, I think, say it a little better there. So it's the filigree earrings and the necklace. And let me see. This was a shock. So I'm thinking this is sterling the whole time. And here, I'm gonna show you this cup while I'm looking for it. Look at this right here. 18 karat. I haven't tested it yet, but I guess this is white gold. Um, I have never found 18, marked 18 karat before and I think who knows if I even ever have found it before at all. So I don't think so. Um, there was just this one earring one time that I tested and it seemed like it tested for 18 karat. So this was a thrill. So I'm gonna test that at some point and it is a long chain. So that makes it worthwhile. Uh, and this was so pretty. Look at this um, Native American style bracelet. There is no mark whatsoever. I just tested it. It does test for sterling and it is heavy um i don't know why i can't remember what these all weigh and it weighs 28.24 and that was about 50 cents to a dollar as well the jewelry was you know i had paid you know a total of two dollars for the the linens 25 cents for this three dollars for that so that's five um uh, I also got these earrings. I cannot find a sterling mark anywhere on these. And I think it says STR, some, uh, STG right up here. I haven't been able to find anything. Uh, 25 cents for this. These two Bath and Body Works Snowy Morning Lotions. Um, they were 25 cents a piece as well. Uh, brand new. Um, so I guess I spent something like $3.00 on all the jewelry so two or three dollars i hope you enjoyed everything uh, please let me know what you think if you've got any questions and i'd love to have your subscription thanks so much